You know what they say about forbidden fruit, right? That the things you can't do are the things you want to do the most. Well, that was very much me, at least when I was younger. But I'm older now, wiser of course, and also allowed to go anywhere I want. Well, not really. What do you mean? You're not allowed to go anywhere you want. I'm not a... What do you mean? I can go and do whatever. I can... I can go anywhere. <coughs> oh, what? Oh, excuse me, sorry. I beg your pardon. No, I'm terribly so Whoa! So don't, don't, don't throw it! Okay, fine, fine, fine. Um, well, I can do many things anyhow, but here are eight places that you and even I are not allowed to go. Have a look. Number eight, the Vatican Archives. 84 kilometers of shelves in the Vatican Archives, which is colossal, but sadly, they're not open to public visitation. Though they're not as secret as you might think, the books and other texts are available to anybody, you simply have to ask for them. However, because of diplomatic issues, they have to be over 75 years old. But all of the indexes and catalogs of everything are open to the public. So if you want to know if a book exists in the secret Vatican archive, you can at least find out. Number seven, Bohemian Grove. Somewhere in California, there's a place in the woods that's reserved for the most powerful people on earth. Since 1872, members of the all-male Bohemian Club meet up in mid-July for a two-week retreat. Members include Henry Kissinger, Richard Nixon, George Bush, and Arnold Schwarzenegger. In fact, every Republican president since Calvin Coolidge in 1923 has been a member. And it's rumored that a membership application takes 15 to 20 years before it's even considered. Now, you can't go there, but here's what Democratic President Bill Clinton had to say about it. Quote, the Bohemian Club? Did you say the Bohemian Club? That's where all those rich Republicans go up to and stand naked against redwood trees, right? I've never been to the Bohemian Club, but you ought to go. It'd be good for you. You'd get some fresh air." End quote. Once again, though, unless you're a member, you can't go. Number six, Ise Grand Shrine. Actually, this Grand Shrine is over 100 shrines in Japan. They've existed, according to tradition, since 4 BC. They're dedicated to the sun goddess Amaratsu, and you can't go there. Not unless you are the priest, who must also be a member of the imperial family. He runs the shrine. Everyone else in the whole world can only ever see some of the tops of the shrine from behind a high wall. And I bet the priest has a lot of stories about how cool it is inside the shrine. Number five, room 39. Room 39, which is also called Office 39, is a secret organization in North Korea. Led by the Central Committee, it's supposed to fund Kim Jong-un's government. Apparently, it guarantees a fairly luxurious standard of life for North Korea's political elite, although there are some hints that lead some to believe that this organization uses international crime to perform its task. Drugs, smuggling, money laundering, who knows what may really be happening in Room 39. Number four, Fort Knox. I bet all of you have heard of Fort Knox, but what exactly is it? It is, in point of fact, the American army base in Kentucky that stores the United States Gold Bullion Depository, which is a hell ton of gold, like around $273 billion worth. During World War II, a copy of the Magna Carta was even kept there, in one of the most heavily guarded areas behind a 22-ton blast door. And us, being ordinary people, we are very much not allowed to go there. Number three, Mount Weather Emergency Operations Center. This might be the only place on the list that you're not only not allowed to visit, but you really don't want to visit. See, you know how in every zombie apocalypse or end of the world type movie, there's always one secret hiding place for the government and other elite? Well, that's Mount Weather Emergency Operations Center. It's just that, a hiding place. After 9-11, for example, most of the congressional leadership was evacuated right there. That's what it's for to send the government to in huge crisis situations. So if you're not in the US government, or you are, and it's not a huge crisis situation, you're not allowed to go there. Number two, Moscow Metro 2. In Moscow, there's the Moscow Metro, the public metro line. But there is also a secret underground system parallel to it called Metro 2. It was reportedly built in the Stalin era, and though even today the existence of such a system has never been confirmed, neither has it been denied. Rumors say it connects the Kremlin with the headquarters of the Russian Federation, the government airport, and other important locations. I wonder, though, if it has regular employees or just ones at special times. And it's probably quite clean. Number one, Area 51, obviously. I imagine a few of you were waiting for me to mention this one. Now, Area 51 is often mentioned when people talk about alien activity on Earth. But should it be? It's true that it's used for military weapons testing and development, but aliens? 
but there are a lot of great theories. Investigation of crashed UFOs, secret meetings with aliens, meetings with secret world leaders, the Illuminati, and even secret film studios where the moon landing was supposed to have been faked. But we here at British Pathé have loads of genuine secrets, not just maybes. And if you want to see some of them, here's a list of real treasures still waiting to be discovered. Or watch the moon landing right here. And don't forget to subscribe. That's all for today's list. See you next Sunday.